Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a pack with me because I'm going on vacation tomorrow. The first half is going to be a beautiful beach vacation with my family and then I'm heading to LA for work and I decided to extend it with my brother and we're going to be going to Disneyland. <laughs> I cannot be more excited. I'm going to have the funnest February but I'm feeling a little nervous about my makeup packing situation because there's a lot of events I gotta keep in mind. So before we get into it, I'd love for you to subscribe if you haven't already and let's get started. So I already packed my brushes in my Smith Folio. Not this one, it's already locked in my suitcase because I had a nightmare that I forgot all my makeup brushes and I can't do this without my brushes. But I packed it in my Smith Folio and they look like this. They're this little leather case and they have these little inserts that you can insert all your brushes into them for safekeeping. But here is my makeup bag. I received this in PR from MAC. It's one of the best makeup bags I've ever had. It doesn't have a brand, unfortunately, but you can search it up on Amazon and there's a ton like this, but you can adjust the little inserts in here to organize it however you'd like. I took a few of the inserts out. This is the way that I like to do it. So let's get to my overhead camera and get into it. Morning, I'm an overpacker. So here's what my makeup bag looks like. This is the main portion. And then up here, it has a place where you can put brushes, but I actually like to put my lip liners and eyeliners and such in here. And then there is a back pocket, which I already packed my little mirror, as well as my powder puffs, pair of tweezers, and various makeup sponges. While I have that open, I'm also going to put my little hair clips and my crystals, just in case if I wanna wear them, because last time I went to Disney, I loved putting these on every day. Okay, so now let's get into the main portion, and I'm going to go by category. So this is the only primer I'm going to be bringing. It's my e.l.f. Power Grip Primer with 4% Niacinamide. And these are the foundations and skin tints I want to bring. So the MAC Face and Body in the shade N1. And this mixes beautifully with this if I want to sheer out this foundation. And I have two shades in the Makeup Forever. One for when I'm tanned and one for when I'm the shade of my walls. 1N10 and 2N22. I love that shade. Angel numbers, baby! Now for concealer, this is a little excessive, but I mean, I feel like I, I need them. So my LYS Triple Fix is my favorite for every day. It has a nice medium coverage, medium to full. Um, I really like my eye brightener for natural days. And then I am bringing my Lancome All Over Concealer for my full coverage, full glam days. And for my powders, I wanted to initially bring my LYS, but since I recently hit pan, I feel like if this gets jostled around, it's going to crack. So instead, I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish in the shade Fair. And I'm also taking my Huda Beauty in Pound Cake. I would have liked to bring Cherry Blossom as well, but these are so big. And I know they have travel sizes, but unfortunately, they were sold out in my shade. Now for bronzers and contours. I think I need to bring all four of these. So of course, this is coming, my Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer. I'm taking the shade Light Medium. This stuff needs to come with me wherever I'm at. This is my favorite powder bronzer still, the Glowish by Huda Beauty. And these two together make a dream team. And then I also love to contour and bronze with these just in case if I want something more quick and if I want to contour. Which these might have to lay in here. And this this was hard for me to decide the next couple things because blush is coming and how am I supposed to pack my blushes for three weeks? I don't know. I don't know. I just pulled everything that I felt like I wanted to bring. So for highlighters though, I want to bring my Rare Beauty highlighter in the shade Exhilarate. I'm bringing my broken one because <laughs> I don't want to break my brand new beautiful one. I feel like this one will survive. I, I do, I have confidence, especially if I tuck it in real good. And then I have these two cute Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light ones. Uh, these are mini sizes that I got during the holidays, so Pinkgasm and Spotlight, perfect. This is hard because these are all of the blushes I would like to bring with me, but I, I know I have to cut these down right now. These guys can for sure come. These are Rare Beauty sample blushes. This one is so cute. This is the shade Believe, um, and this is the shade Truth. So these two will be able to fit in here perfectly. 
Um, I also like to bring a powder blush and I love the MAC ones. I feel like Gingerly can take a seat and stay back, but burnt pepper is so fun, especially on beach holidays, especially if I want to go for like a burnt cheek look without the damage, you know, it's a cute vibe. It's such a nice color. I mean, come on. And it's going to suit some of the lipsticks I want to pack. This blush is a newer one to me and I have not been able to put it down. It's the Clinique Black Honey Pop Blush. It's the color I've been reaching for constantly. I think it needs to come. Of course, one of my Rose Ink blushes is coming. These are the two shades I pulled. I'm kind of falling out of love with Foxglove just because I have red hair and I feel like it's pulling really orange on me. So I've been reaching for these two, Azalea and Heliotrope. Heliotrope is like a perfect everyday cream blush and Azalea is a bit of a bolder berry which I think if I were to go for like this kind of look, I might reach for the powder one instead of the cream. So I'm leaning more towards Heliotrope, even though I'm making such a freaking mess, whoa. And the last blush I had the urge to bring was Oh She's Different from Patrick Ta. I thought this would be fun because it's a powder and a cream, but I think it's going to take up too much space and I think I would reach for all the other blushes I have packed. So I'm going to leave this behind. They can go right here for the meantime. These are my brow intermission essentials. So my Melt Cosmetics brow pencil. This is what I use for my brow gel, which is kind of unfortunate because it's so big, but it's the Charlotte Tilbury P Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes in Dream Pop. And then this is my favorite eyeshadow primer, which I'm going to pack up here. Oh, I have a sharpener in here. Oh, and I also have lash glue. Perfect, I would have forgotten that. And how would I put those gems on? I don't know. So that works out. I'm going to sneak these three things here. Now let's get into eye stuff. So I have these two Danessa Myricks color fixes in Exposed and Chocolate. I think I'm going to bring chocolate because I have a look in mind and a look that I've been doing recently with all of the Black Honey products. And it's, it's a slight. But I think I'm going to leave exposed here because I'm going to bring the Makeup Forever Total Taupe liner and they kind of serve the same purpose and I've been enjoying using this to like sculpt out my eye looks and such. So exposed is staying but chocolate is coming. I also have my freck which I want to bring which I'm going to shove up here with my other stuff. And then for eyeshadows, okay. So I was thinking of bringing my Tartlet in Bloom palette because it has a lot of the colors I would need. And I've been feeling really excited to have this back in my collection. This one was probably an obvious, but this is my Charlotte Tilbury, the Super Nudes Easy Eye Palette. This comes with me everywhere and is what I'm wearing most of the time. And this isn't the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter. I actually packed two of my shadows from the Gemini palette from Melt Cosmetics cosmetics in here because I've been enjoying doing green eyeliner looks and for events and such I think this would be so fun. I decided to take them out, put them in this magnetic palette, secure it with a little lash glue and then I cut this cotton round to keep things stable. I was desperate to bring that so that's for sure coming. Of course these two are going to be gorgeous everywhere in LA, on the beach, you know, I need to bring them. I feel like I might have to cut these out, but they're kind of crucial for that green eye look. So if I can fit them in, I will. These are the About Face eye paints in Art of Darkness, Vertigo Flowers, and Smoke Signal. Oh, these might fit standing up, which is great. I sounded like Tony the Tiger there. And as far as eyeliner goes, I have that Makeup Forever Total Taupe. I have two of these cream shadows from Bobbi Brown in the shades Taupe and Bark which I've been using a lot for quick makeups, bark and taupe. I have my Melt Cosmetics waterline pencils in, in cacao and ivory, which are for sure coming. I have my liquid liner from Huda Beauty, which is great for inner corner details, and my favorite black liner, which is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Smoky Liner. So mascara and lips is all that's left. And for mascara, I have these three that I wanted to bring. My Lancome Waterproof, my MAC Stack Mini, 
and my Make Waves from Tower 28. And here are all the lip liners I planned on packing. I'm actually just going to be disqualifying this one right here. It's too similar to the other ones, and that is the Clinique Quick Liner for Lips in the shade Coco Rose. This is Anywhere Caffeine from Makeup Forever. Then we have Pinky Brown from Huda Beauty. Then we have Wherever Walnut from Makeup Forever. Honey Beige from Huda. And lastly, Universal Earth from Makeup Forever. <laughs> and here are all of the lip products that I just picked out that I thought I wanted to bring, but it might be a little excessive. The last time I went traveling, I went to Alaska and I decided to kind of challenge myself and I brought lip products that I don't really use often and that was the worst idea I've ever had. <laughs> I missed my classic lip combos so much. So some of them, Anywhere Caffeine and Teddy 2.0 from MAC. Same with Stay Curious from MAC. These are both powder kisses. Love this one, especially in combination with Burnt Pepper from MAC. This one is for sure coming as well, the Clinique Black Honey Gloss. I actually prefer this over the lipstick. This one is a maybe, so I'm going to swatch it below. This is Sesame from Tower 28. It is so gorgeous. This one is another maybe. This is the Clarins Lip Oil. I just want to smell this at all times, so this is a potential. This one is for sure coming. It's one of my favorite lip colors right now. This is L'Oreal. 130 nude heaven it's heavenly for real the only thing that bothers me is the packaging i hate how you have to align it with this little key and i have three makeup by mario moisture glows but these kind of have competition i think i just got these in pr just this is a very random side quest but these are the about face cherry pick lip color butters these are so similar in formula and texture and everything they even have like this kind of uh, plumping cooling feeling but there are so many gorgeous shades here so i might sneak in a few this is actually what i'm wearing in the intro i'm wearing the shade pomplamus but i initially thought i'd bring honey glow which is the newest shade that i purchased blush glow and bronze glow and then of course I have my Kosas Wet Lip Oil, which is just a clear gloss, but it is kind of chunky. I might just throw this into my purse uh, to take with me on the airplane instead of throwing it in here. I really want to take these two Bronze Glow and Blush Glow. This one is like maybe. It's so pretty. I think it'd be really nice when I'm tanned. <laughs> I just have to sort this again here. by putting my mascaras on the bottom, as well as my lip glosses. I'm going to take Tower 28. And then I think I'm going to leave the Clarins. I don't know if that's a mistake yet. Yeah, I'm just gonna sort this out. I think that's all I wanna bring. I'm just going to place this on the bottom just for safety. And there we are. I even have a little extra space in here. Just kidding, the space right here is for this Milk Hydro Grip setting spray. Need that for sure. <laughs> and there we are. Here's my final very packed up makeup kit. This might seem excessive, but I'm leaving for three weeks and I love to change up my makeup every day. And some of it's for events and work and Disneyland and the beach, you know. I love my makeup. I'm very passionate about it. It makes me so beyond happy. And there we have it. I'm ready to head out with my 10 pound makeup bag. Thank you so much for coming along this packing journey. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a like and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.